After months of developing their sustainable cities of the future, the day to present to the judges has finally arrived. Hey everyone, I'm Maya, and this is my brother Oliver. If you've been following along with this year's series, you've seen just how much work has gone into our team's future city projects. That's right, and the day has finally arrived for our student teams to present their Lunar Cities to the regional panel of judges. They've got to be feeling a little nervous. I know I was. Now, remember, the winning team from each region will continue on to compete in the live national competition, where one team will be crowned the winner of this year's Future City competition. The stakes are certainly high. Let the judging begin. On the day of the judging, it all started at 10.50. We, we started testing each other and asked when we should join the meeting because I think the Q&A was at 11. We were doing a lot of studying. We were looking back on all the notes we'd taken and all the like sample questions. We were trying to plan out like who was going to do what because we thought that that might work best in the um, interview and it actually did end up working very well. We got in, uh, we had to introduce ourselves uh, and the judges all introduced themselves. And then a moderator like called on the judges to ask us questions. It was also really like nerve wracking because these people were professionals in this area and we were trying to like present to them. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Rafter. I work for the Army Corps of Engineers and uh, would just like to say excellent job on your uh, video uh, presentation. What two moon resources did your team choose? We chose to use helium-3 and geographic features. We chose to use helium-3 because that could be one potential energy source for our city. And then for geographic features, um, we were kind of thinking about like water, oxygen, um, lunar soil, of course, because um, one main futuristic part about the geographic features was um, all of our domes of our city are covered in lunar soil and so that protects us from meteors or um, solar rays because um, the lunar soil will harden around the dome. So after the judging they sent out an email and we won a couple of the special awards but then we also got best model and best general Q&A and so um, all of that combined we were able to get first place in the mid-Atlantic region which was I know there was like a huge breath of fresh air for all of us because it was kind of like a boost of self-esteem almost. And I just thought that that was a really satisfying moment because then also we got the opportunity to then move to nationals. When we went into regionals, I really had no expectations. Um, I just thought it would be great for the kids to get this opportunity to present their work. I think it's just been a lot of fun being able to prepare for nationals and going on this national and really international stage with their work. And that's been really, really exciting and gratifying for me. If we do well, we'll be thrilled. Um, if we don't place, that's okay too. But we're going in with high expectations. We, we came to win, so we're, we're ready to go. Going into the Q&A, we were all very nervous because um, we didn't know what to expect. We just knew we were going to have questions thrown at us. At the beginning, we kind of uh, devoted ourselves to more of like a serious, like business type attitude. But then later on, we kind of realized that this was all meant to be like fun because the judges aren't really looking for that really serious team that was like really formal. They were kind of looking for like a fun and enjoyable, but also innovative and creative team. My name is Allison Wren. I am president of the HASBAT Huntsville Association of Small Businesses and Advanced Technology, as well as president of the Huntsville Association of Technical Society. What types of engineers were involved in the design of your future city? As model team and the SE team, we were civil engineers when describing our city, creating our city, coming up with a plan for our city. Our plan team was more of like system engineers when like going more in depth with planning and how our entire um, process was going to work. The model team was also industrial engineers because they were trying to come up with buildings and we were trying to come up with dimensions for our buildings. 
We did, do not get to move on to nationals because we placed top 10. Even though we didn't win an award, we still did pretty good as an entire hall and we scored the highest out of our entire school. One of the things we learned is that there's no perfect project and how it's always a work in progress and that how we just want to get as best as we can be with all the challenges. I know I'm doing it next year and I enjoyed the whole entire experience. Obviously, there were the stressful moments, but all of it was probably one of the most fun team building experiences I've had. This has been the best time ever. I'm so proud of this team. I'm so proud of you Space Busters. This has been a blast for me. Keep pushing it because y'all are awesome. For the judging session, we tried to kind of get the questions in our head, think about what the question was and how we could take different key points and just talk about those key points in our city. I was just wondering if you could go into a little more detail about what types of foods you grow and eat in your city. Our food comes from our greenhouses, which use vertical farming to use less water and basically no soil. Um, we grow fruits and lots of different vegetables there. And also we bring food from the earth to um, the moon to make sure everyone gets nutritious things that are important for our human life. It's just very surreal feeling for me that uh, we're able to present our own ideas and actually impress people with so much experience. It's just very surreal for me. After, um regional judging we placed in second place along with second place we got um three other additional awards the best skyline the best surveying practices and the best city to live in and um even though we didn't get a uh, first place we next year we can apply all the things we learned this year and we can try to get first place next year the whole experience was really good um it was phenomenal actually we took away a lot of stuff, and in the end, all the hard work really paid off, and I'm really proud of myself and my team for like getting this far. Guiding this team uh, was really phenomenal for me because all of these kids uh, are uh, truly amazing. I felt that I gave them the opportunity to uh, think on their own, and uh, I just helped them to steer through this project. So pretty much they were the leaders and they did everything. Um, so I was the guide and uh, as a STEM educator, I this has always been my passion uh, to inspire students into science. I have thoroughly enjoyed this whole process and definitely I'll do it again next year, irrespective of the outcome. Huge congrats to the Space Busters and to Suki City team for their stellar jobs in this year's city competition. And a major kudos to our Washington DC students from Team Mahina for making it through to nationals. They'll be one of only a handful of teams competing live for a chance to take home the top prize. Be sure and join us next time as we conclude this year's Future City Web Series and crown the top 2021 student team. Who will it be? See you next time. Yeah.